Today, everyone, this is your Ruto Extraordinaire, Guru Allah Ulum the Andre. I'm sad the responsibility of always bringing you Guru real estate deals. And I always open you up to endless opportunities that you can benefit immensely from via investing in real estate. I also use historical anecdotes to ensure that you learn from them and perhaps they might incite or gold your investment decisions. It is so circumspect to make informed decisions, not just arbitrary ones. So, so today we'll be looking at the valuable lessons we can garner from the sinkage of the Titanic. So people will ask, how does Titanic relate with financial investment? That is why you should sit, relax, and watch this video to the end. It might be so beneficial to you. I'll be right back. When it was built, the Titanic was a symbol of the opulence and also the sense of invisibility felt by the British Empire in those days. She reflected the period's extravagance and arrogance as no thing could sink its expanding world economy and dominion. Few other times dreamed that in just two years the world would be at war and that their invisible empire was about to be hit by an iceberg that would ultimately send it to the same end as all of man's previous empires. The world's worthy and famous streamed onto the Titanic for the maiden voyage because they did not think she could sink. They sailed boldly into dangerous waters with reckless abandon and the unsinkable pride of the incredibly fragile. Just as the empire was, as is every empire, arrogance can be the greatest weakness of all. When the Titanic hit the iceberg, there was a disconcerting jolt. Everybody noticed it. And after a few seconds, the party continued. From the captain to the last third class passengers, nobody imagined that after a couple of hours, they will be at the bottom of the sea. Situations can be altered in a minute, and most times they are always beyond our control. The best thing we can do is to do things that are in our capacity, in our control, we can, we can, in our own little will, with our own ingenuity, control those things that are within our capacity, within our control. We can't afford to be complacent. We can't afford to be lackadaisical. We can't afford to be lax about our financial situations. We need to be preemptive in our financial approach and only investments can provide that succor whenever we are in dire need of finances. The time value of money says that money at hand is worth more than money saved. No thanks to the corrosity of inflation. But that money put in a, in a good investment like real estate would always appreciate and then it edges inflation. So that money that is with you right now, though it is more than money saved, but the better way to get a, a, a triplicate of your funds back is to invest in real estate. But the smartest thing we can do is to have envisioned this even before it's proud. We can learn from Femi Otedala what he did. He envisioned what would happen. He was bankrupt. But thank God that he had invested into real estate, 195 units or thereabout. And he sold all to revivify his business. So what are you doing? Don't don't coast along, don't drift along, don't think you are ageless, don't think you would always have money. Don't think you would always have your seniors working perfectly. Don't think your bronze will always take you to and fro. Don't think you would always, always have it at your beck and call. Things can happen. The vagaries of life is enough to tell you that change is the only constant thing. So you must look for means to ensure that you have investment investment that you can easily liquidate for you to have funds to do whatever you intend to do for you to have funds during those lean times during those times when your purses are lean yes i know people would quickly say that real estate is not easily liquid yes that is true but there's only one thing you can do to avoid that and that is investing in a very prime location a location with a good prognostication 
that in two three years time that place would be developed magnificently with magnific amenities so that will bring a demand for the land and you'll not only be able to sell it on time you'll be selling it at an appreciated amount you'll be getting your returns on investment in millions of naira imagine you have a place in Ekwe. imagine you have a place in Kobakwe. imagine you have a place where government has its concentration give it two years three years from now that place will be pollinating with a lot of people with a lot of people concentrated in an area because of the development happening around it aside from always bringing you good real estate deals i always want to incite you to incite your psyche in investing in real estate in investing that is the only way to come out out of trouble to come out out of lean times joseph in the bible during the good times saved enough enough food crops for the bad times for the lean times you remember seven years of plenitude and then seven years of famine your spirituality will not take away problems what it will do for you is that it will place you in an advantageous position for you to be able to deal with it so i am goriola olomide andre your realtor extraordinaire saddled with the responsibility of not always bringing you guru like the deals I also ensure that you are well informed, guarded, incited, stimulated, and taking a wise investment decision. So till I come your way again next time, have a pleasant day. Bye for now. I see this kind of love, yeah, yeah, yeah.